So I was grinding, and look what shows up on my screen. I just got a shiny Buizel. Now, I know I'm playing on the version of Renegade Platinum that has the boosted shiny odds, but they're only like 1 in 512. So the fact that we still found a shiny is pretty freaking neat, even though it is a Buizel, which isn't really one of my favorite Pokemon, but you know what? I'm happy to get a shiny. So let's go ahead and throw a netball. I'm not even going to try attacking this thing. And, because, like, you know what, like, even if it's, like, you know, not a legit shiny or whatever, I'm still doing shiny claws, or whatever you want to call it. Like, I, I will catch it, I will use it, I do not care. Even though the odds are boosted, like I said, I just, I just don't care. I just want to catch this weasel. And I'm recording this currently at after midnight, because I'm, I'm, I was busy grinding, because I wanted to get everyone, everyone to level 20. I'll probably just, I, I don't think I'll bother uploading this as a separate video, I'll probably just tack it onto the beginning of the next episode, but yeah. Still, pretty... Pretty freaking wild. Oh boy. Alright, let's go ahead and hopefully catch this thing. Come on. Come on. You know you want to? Yes. Yes. We caught ourselves a shiny Buizel. Let's get it. Buizel's out at the Pokedex. We have the Sea Weasel Pokemon. It spins its two tails like a screw to propel itself through water. The tail is also sliced, clinging seaweed. Alright, well, I think I will name this thing. Hmm. Hmm. So I was gonna name this thing Julius after the floats we or the Bertzel we used in um, Sweet. But uh, here, let me see if I can find. Is there like a lemon? Is there like a, a lemon Julius? If there is, I'll name it Julius. Like, oh there, is there? Oh, that's a type of. Huh? Huh? All right. Uh, lemon Julius. Is, it, is, is apparently a thing. I just don't think it's what I was what I was going for. You know, fuck it. We'll name him Julius. We got uh, Julius, our shiny weasel. Hot damn! All right, and uh, yeah, you guys are gonna see that. Well, yes, I did go ahead and add uh, Zubat to the team. Uh, yeah, let's fucking speed this shit up. Let's check out our shiny dudes. Let's check out our fucking shiny. Well, first of all, let's heal up because as you can see, my team is a little beat up. From all that grinding. Yeah, I've done some- I'm doing some hardcore grinding. You, you, you wouldn't even know. Well, not that hardcore. I can't level 20, but yeah. Alright, let's see what you got. You're a uh, quirky new nature. Alright, neutral. That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, you know what? I'm down for that. If we need a new water type, then I might consider using you. I mean, I mean, it's a shiny. It's not a great Pokemon, but it's still shiny. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. I'm gonna end this, I'm gonna end this right here. I'm gonna save, and I'll see you guys in the actual episode. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Techno Blaster, and welcome to episode number seven of our Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we went ahead and cleared Team Galactic out of the Valley Windworks. And we had a bit of a fun time doing that. Sarcasm possible. Anyways, today we're going to be heading through the Eterna Forest and uh, making our way over to Eterna City. So if you guys are hyped for some more Renegade Platinum, and of course if you want to show your support, make sure you smash that like button below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. With that, let's check with party recap. As you guys saw in the little uh, thing, I did do some grinding. Uh, I got everyone up to level 20. Uh, first we have Morgana. Our level 20 Timid Naked Umbreon with Synchronize. Not holding any, any item, because I'm still trying to see if I can snag something with Covet. But we're also rocking Faint Attack, quick, att quick Attack, and Sand Attack. And we have everything's an attack, except for a Covet. Anyways, next we have Nopod, level 20. Our Quick Claw holding Pseudo Wudo Naive Nature, who did evolve in the last episode. Look at, those, look at that attack and defense. It's pretty solid. Especially since, spoil, spoiler alert, we did lose our biggest physical offensive powerhouse in the last episode. So it's nice to see that uh, Nopad has some good attack to work with. We're rocking Rock Tomb, Brick Break, Copycat, and M Mimic. Then we have Podem level 20, our Charcoal Holding, Assassinated Monferno with Glaze. Rocking Flame Wheel, Brick Break, Mock Punching, Aerial Ace. <clears throat> Next we have Triton level 20, our Mystic Water Holding, Lonely Nature to War Tortle with Torrent. Rocking Water Pulse, Brick Break, Bite, and Yawn. In Caesar level 20, our Miracle Seed holding Hard Nature to Ivysaur with Overgrow, Rocket Magic Leaf, Sludge, Sleep Powder, and Leech Seed. And last but not least, we have the newest addition to the team, 
Use Ikaron, level 20, our naive naked Zubat. Hold the Soothe Bell, because obviously we want to try to make him happy. So that we can get a Crobat as fast as we can. Bubble Rock and Poison Fang, Aerial Ice, Bite, and Confuse Ray. Pretty solid moveset. Poison Fang actually did get buffed and a little nerfed at the same time. It got buffed, I think, like, normally it's, like, base 50 power, so Drown did buff its base power a little. But, unfortunately, he did give it 95% accuracy, which kind of sucks. But, I'll work with it. I mean, we got, we got Aerial Ice if we really need to not miss. But, yee, that's our squad. And, you guys may have noticed in the thing that I added to the beginning of the episode, that, while I was grinding, we did, of course, find... A shiny Buizel. Now I know that again we're playing on the version like with like one in five hundred and twelve shiny rate, but still, that's like okay. What kind of per what kind of percent is that? Let me let me calculate this actually. One divided by five. Okay, uh, yeah, five hundred and twelve. That's like zero point zero zero one nine percent. So it's still not very likely. It's more likely than regularly, of course, but still not very likely. So the fact that we got one pretty early on is impressive to me. I will maybe consider using it, uh, depending on if we meet, if it fits, you know, what we need. Uh, if we get any more shinies, then we'll see how those go. I mean, obviously, if we get a bill, if we start getting a billion shinies, then I may have to, you know, start, start saying, okay, I'm not going to use all these because that would be kind of broken. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and make our way down here. Oh yeah, I should get, I should get these berries, shouldn't I? Pack the plant? Oh, it's just in bloom. Okay. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably need, uh, forget to come back here in time. Uh, but yeah, I did battle that guy off screen. Uh, ooh, bulk up! Oh, that's really good, actually. Hold on a second. Hold on just a second. Bulk up. Hmm, only Potem can learn it. Do I want? I, Cause I really think we could benefit from a little bit of bulk, from a little bit of boosted bulk. Oh, flame wheels base seventy five. I didn't know that. Damn, Grandma, you buffing effort is in. I'm thinking we may get rid of aerial ace for now. Um, I mean, we, I mean, if, if I if I change my mind, I can always take it back. But um, cause I, I like having a mock punch for priority. Brick break is strong stab, and then of course flame wheel is our only fire stab right now. Also, uh, I guess that guy got moved up because um, he. <laughs> I know usually he's like right there, so that's cool. <clears throat> uh, let's see what he's got though. Hiker Daniel has a Diglett. All right, Diglett, uh, level 15. All right. Well, I got I just went to level 20 because you know Mar Mars is Ace was level 19, and uh, oh, excuse my dogs in the background, but yeah, uh, Mars Mars is Ace was level 19, so I just thought you know I should probably just get to level 20 just to be ready for like the next bit because. I don't know. I don't know what the forest is gonna be like. It might be insane. It might not be. Who knows? But at least we're ready. Either way, uh, I'll probably have to do some more grinding after this episode to be ready for the gym. That's a lot of grinding. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing uh, a lot of grinding so far in the series. Cause I had to do grinding in the middle of episode two. I had to do some after episode three. I had to do some after episode four. I think so far the only episode I didn't have to do grinding after uh, was episode 5. Also, I forgot what he was sending in, but I think it was something to grass. I wasn't paying the utmost of attention. There's a new one. I'm gonna play it safe and go to Triton. I mean, I was close. Sort of. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, this, I mean, this is like, see, like, really? You burned me? So this is why it's kind of like, like, you know, me, like, going off on, like, a tangent like that is kind of good and bad. Good because it gives me something to talk about, but bad because sometimes I can lose my focus on the game and not know what is being sent in. I mean, obviously, in, like, a gym battle or, like, an important trainer battle, I'd be, like, you know, hyper-focused, but in a random battle, it doesn't really, like, I don't really care that much. I'm like, you know what? Okay. Because tra random trainer battles aren't going to be that intense. They're not going to be that heated. Even, even in a drown hack, they're usually not that bad. <clears throat> so, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and, uh, do I want to battle you? I do, but I want to put Ikaron up front. Because, uh, I think you're, like, what, two levels away from evolving into Golbat? So I do want that to happen. Hello! I will also speed some of these up, because, um, I want to get through the forest in this episode. Chikorita! Alright, Poison Fang. Uh, not quite dead, my actually, that's fine, we quad resist that. Aerial Ace, goodbye. Critical hit, that did not matter. Bulbasaur's coming in, I can go ahead and Aerial Ace that as well. Uh, why is that not an Ivysaur? I never got that. 
Like, why put a Pokemon level at a certain level? Okay, there's got there's an item here. Stardust, not bad. That's a grand in my pocket. That's a thousand smackaroos in my pocket. All right. What's over here? Is it, is it anything different? Is it Destiny Knot? I think that is different than what it normally is. Uh, I mean, okay, cool. I mean, if I decide I want to breed something, which I don't tend to do in Nuzlocke, but okay. Uh, I'm going to swerve you. Because I can always come back to you and grind against you. All right, what else could we have had on this route? Well, I've pretty much, <laughs> I've pretty much seen all that, we, all that we could have had during grinding. And uh, it's nothing too major. I mean, we could have had a Mareep, which would have been nice. Uh, we could have had a uh, Shellos. That would have been cool. I like Shellos and Gastrodon. Those guys are cool. Uh, Metatite. I should probably look out because that is a Psychic type. Um, mm, we, we don't really have the best Pokemon to deal with Metatite. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Go for a Water Pulse. All right. Confused. Hit yourself. Force Palm. Dang it. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That is fine, and I do believe there's a healing house up ahead, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, Mankey, just go straight into Caesar. I will go into, um, Ikarambe. He's a little injured at the moment, so... I'll just leave this to capable old Caesar. And we're gonna get this item, which is a repel, alright, and, uh, probably gonna battle you two. Yep, alright. Uh, you have a Piplup. Uh, I'm pretty sure you actually have a Piplup in the, in the regular games, too, so that's kinda cool. Alright, Bubble, that's fine. Go for the Magical Leaf. And that's an Oko. <laughs> Goodbye, Piplup. Uh, Chimchar. Alright, you got some starters going on. Let's go into Nopud. Show off Nopud as a pseudo Wudo. Go for that Rock Tomb and Oko the Chimchar, because it has literally no defenses. And, uh, yeah, that's it for those guys. Now I can go in here, and... We should be able to heal, I think. R yes, Rest a while. Thank you! I don't have to go all the way back and heal, and I don't have to waste potions either. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and... Do you do anything? Hello. Many points they will go into the eternal force of their home, but I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or go back? Up to you, dude. Uh, anyways, hello, Cheryl. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so your name is Techno. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Techno, are you a strong trainer? Sorry to be so sudden, but may we, may we have a battle so I can test your strength? Oh, boy. Yep, this is why we did grinding, because, uh, I mean, I didn't think she'd want a battle, but... I guess it makes sense. Alright, Drifloon. What level do you start at? 19! Yeah! I definitely made a right choice by doing some grinding. Alright, Drifloon. We're going straight into Morgana. No questions asked. No questions asked. Alright. Shockwave. So, okay. okay. Alright. Part of me was wondering, part of me was wondering if, you'd, if you'd have like TMs and stuff. And I mean, obviously it makes sense that you do because you are technically an important trainer. Alright, Fan Attack. Um, this should do a lot. I... I want to say the Shidoko, but yeah, as you can see, we don't have the best attack in the world. Ominous Wind, that's fine. Even, even if you get the boost, I'm not too worried. Oh, right, yeah, there's currently a bug where um, Dark doesn't resist Ghost yet, so. I know Drano's working on it. I don't know if the pack is out yet or not, but as soon as I see that it's out, then obviously I'll update it. I, I want it to be out before, obviously, we get to Fantino, which won't be for a while, so I'm not too worried about that either. Makohita's coming in, um, I guess Ikaron is my best bet for that. I guess Ikaron is my best I guess he's a little worried that he's gonna have, like, Rock Tomb or something. Um, but at the same time, I'm just gonna, um, should I, no, I'm just gonna go all out. Fake out, okay, that's fine. How much is that gonna do, though? Mmm, that did a decent, oh! Inner Focus! Get fucked! And we should outspeed, and this should be a 2 KO. Yes, and we should outspeed, I do not... Yes, I was gonna say, I refuse to believe this thing outspeeds a Zubat. I refuse to believe that. And, you know, he didn't, so that's cool. And we hit level 21. One more level until we, uh, are a Golbat. Alright, Whalemur's coming in. Interesting Pokemon you got here, I must admit. Interesting team you got. Alright, let's send in Caesar. Old Caesar. <clears throat> Alright. We got uh, Whalmer, it's coming in level 19, alright, is your ace gonna be level like 21 or something? Cause, or you can have all level 19s. Cause, I don't know. I mean, you still have one more Pokemon after this Whalmer. And depending on what it is, if it's your Chansey, then I'm not too worried. Cause we have Monferno. Um, but if it's something else, then we'll have to see. We will have to see, but if it's Chansey, then I think we'll be fine, because we can just Brick Breaker, Mock Punch it, and, like, Chansey has, pe like, literal, actual paper-thin defense. So, we'd be okay there. Um, but the question is, is it going to be a Chansey, or is it going to be something different? 
uh, season at level 21, so uh, we're delaying our finding out of that. It is a Cansey, okay. All right, so we can go into Potem. We can go straight into Potem, fire off a Brick Break, and you should be dead and gone. You should be dead and gone. What level are you gonna be? Okay, you're level 20, all right, that's fine. That's fine, so we went like literally to the perfect level. <clears throat> at least for Carol. And I don't think these guys are gonna be uh, higher than 20. I highly doubt that. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, just, uh, <laughs> bye bye Cansey. Bye bye And it's gonna be a lot of experience, actually. 1,092. That's an easy level up for Potem. Nice one. All right. That's less grinding I have to do off screen. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's less, gr less work for me to do later. Nice. 2,400 bucks? I'll take it. Oh, marvelous. Then I'm gonna ask a big favor of you. I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. From that battle we just had, I, I, I can see you're a strong trainer. I've heard there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. Ironically, they don't show up here at all, so... You probably could have made it through here on your own anyways, but yeah. Anyways, um, so the way, in case you guys don't know, the way encounters work in areas where you have a partner like this is you can try to get something if you find it, which... I mean, we have a Baneer right here, that's... Because we already caught a Shroomish in the meadow. So, I think for now, I will go for this Buneary, because it does technically count as my encounter, but if she kills it, then I am allowed to come back after we leave with her and re-encounter. Alright, Ice Cream Assurance, perfect. Alright, thank you. That, uh, that definitely helps me. Um, Alright, so her Chansey actually does have good moves. That's good. Alright, so Buneary. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to feel about this, because, like... I'm not, I'm not that fond of Baneary, if I'm being honest. Um, but at the same time, I mean, it's not a bad Pokemon. I feel like Lopunny would have gotten buffed in this game. And, uh, almost, almost first try. Not quite, but almost. Uh, Hyper Voice. That might kill it. That might kill it. Uh, nope, not quite. Alright, cool. Frustration, that's fine. I do want to check the, do the documentation for Lopunny real quick. Um, yeah, it did get buffed. It got uh, a 30 point buff to its attack. Holy shit. And it's now normal fighting, just like it's mega. Alright, that's cool. <clears throat> Let's fire off another Pokeball. If this doesn't catch it, then Cheryl's gonna kill it. And that's okay, because I can just come back and get something else. But, I mean. Oh, wow, it actually didn't stay in the ball. I was thinking it would. Alright, so, um, Endure. Oh! Oh, we were going for Endure. Oh, you actually. Do you actually want to join us? Alright, I mean. I'd be down. Low Penny actually is decent in this game, so I wouldn't mind using one. Um, but of course, again, you have to stay in the ball, and I'm pretty sure if you don't stay in the ball this time, you will in fact die, unless you somehow get endured to work again, which is unlikely. Yeet. Alright, we caught ourselves a Buneary. Alright. <clears throat> Buneary's data was added to the Poke Dex. We got the rabbit Pokemon. Its ears are always rolled up. They can be forcefully extended to shatter even a large boulder. Jesus Christ, this thing is strong. Uh, alrighty, well... I'm going to name you... Hmm... Hmm... I can name you Mandy, because I, 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 I used a low punny in, in a randomizer once, and I named it Mandy. So I can't name you Mandy, because, you know, why not? Why not? Alright, what's this item that I came here to get? An antidote. Alright, cool stuff. Cool stuff. I mean, we have two poison types on our team, so poison isn't that big of a deal. And, uh, yeah, I did remove the leaf, the, the mossy rock, because that's not how Leafeon evolves anymore. Alright, a Parlor's heal. Alright, cool, and, uh, do I, I think I, I think I'll kind of leave those guys alone. I mean, we have to battle these guys, so, uh, let's go ahead and put Morgana up front, I guess, because they're going to have some psychic types, I bet. Alright, let's go and battle these two here. I see it, I see it, I see you going down in defeat. Sure, <laughs> whatever you say, dude. When a, po when a trainer of Pokemon bond is when a wondrous power is born. Alright. So let's see what these guys got. Psychic Lindsay and Psychic Elijah. Slowpoke and Spoink. Alright, they are level 17, so they did get buffed as well. Alright. Um, let's go for a fan attack on the Slowpoke. Go for a fan attack on that there, Slowpoke. I feel like she might actually go for a Thunderbolt on it, though, so maybe I should have gone for the Spoink. But, either way, like, if she's gonna do that, then she at least will kill off the Spoink. Uh, assuming she doesn't hit herself in Confusion, which I really hope does not happen. 
but I can't control my partner's AI. I can control any AI in general, and of course, hit yourself, alright. Alrighty, well, we're gonna get headbutted, and uh, we're gonna fan attack the Spoink this time, because I, I do think that she's going to Thunderbolt with a Slowpoke. The bigger characters in this game do have decent AI, at least, like, you know, the important ones. So, uh, Spoink does get O-Code. Uh, come on, Chansey. Yeah, see, what did I say? What did I say? I, I, I know the AI. <laughs> I know how, I know how this works. Alright, so Slowpoke goes down as well. Okay, <laughs> get it? Slowpoke goes down as well. Slowpoke, what? Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Do not ever quote me on that. Alright, execute. It's coming in. And so is a Drowsy. Alright, I want to get the Drowsy out of here. Because, for one thing, uh, Chansey can Ice Beam the execute. And for another thing, Drowsy is annoying. <laughs> drowsy is not a fun Pokemon to deal with. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna Oko that. Damn, Morgana, you're getting Okos left and right. Damn, alright. Chansey's confused still. And it hit itself. All right. Good, good, good job, Chansey. Round of applause. Reflect. Okay. Now you need. Now you need to go for ice beams. All right. Ball toys coming in. I can go into. Hmm. Can I go into anyone? Not really. Uh. Well. All right. I'm just gonna stay in and go for a fan attack on the ball toy. I guess. See if we can get that side down. See if we can get that side down. And then, uh, she can go for the Execute and, uh, knock that out. Alright, Ice Beam, nice. Alright, Ice Beam, alright, on the ball toy, that's fine. We can get that side out of here. I can speed up real quick. Can speed up real quick. Leech Seed, that's fine, because you're not going to live much longer. <laughs> not going to live to tell the tale. Fan Attack and Ice Beam, and you dead. And you have one more Pokemon left. It's a not to. Alright, Fan Attack and Air Cutter, that's fine. Crit me, that's not fine, but I still ate it up, because Morgana is, uh... Beast, and also really fucking bulky. That's why we got him. That's why we got our boy Morgana. All right, let me put uh, Ikaron back on front because I do want him to evolve in this episode. I really want that. All right, uh, let's see what else we could have had. Could have had a Paris. All right, and a Talo. I feel like Ground would have buffed Paris, act, so I'm a little sad about that. Because you guys know how much I love Pepper. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Bunnery, I mean, again, Lil Pony did get buffed, so I'm not too mad about that either. Alright, let's go for the Ninkata. We should be uh, good to stay with Ikaron here, since these guys do just have a bunch of bug types. So we're gonna get a bunch of experience on young Ikaron. B drill. Oh, too soon. God damn it. Alright, um, I don't feel comfortable staying in, really. Because I don't know what this thing's gonna do. Alright, Toxic Wax, that's fine. Alright, Psy Beam. Yeah, see, that's what I kind of thought. Well, not really. I, I just didn't really want to stay in on that. Alright, let me knock out the Dust Docks. Even though the Beedrill is also a very big threat, because from the little side damage, it definitely has adaptability, and we missed. Okay, you know, we're going for the Beedrill. <laughs> we're going for that Beedrill there. Alright, so one, fuck off. Actually, fuck off. Right, Beedrill goes down. Cool. Alright, what else you got? Um, nothing else. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna heal, because fuck you, Dustox. Because <laughs> fuck you, Dustox. So everyone, leave me alone! And you got the boost, which is just stupendous. Alright, still so one I sort it. Oh my Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Fucking hell! Chansey, stop healing! You are fine! Kill the damn dust ox, for fuck's sake! Oh my god, are you actually fucking kidding me? <sighs> no pun just evolved. Just fuck, I wanted to use Sudowoodo too. You, like, you see a pattern here? I wanted to use a Beedrill. Dead. I wanted to use a Surskit. Dead. I wanted to use a Sudowoodo. Dead. I'm not allowed to have nice things. <sighs> That's so infuriating. What can I even go into? Triton? Because everyone else will be weak, because half our team is weak to Psybeam, and then Morgana's weak to Silver One, so I have to just go into Triton. But I get badly poisoned from the, from the toxic spikes. So ain't this just the fucking best? Silverwind, you're going for me again, aren't you? I mean, I guess it technically does make sense. Yep, he's going for me. I mean, I guess it technically does make sense since Chansey is a special, like, actual Mexican wall. Look, that did nothing, though. But, like, at the same time, it's just like, fuck off, dude. That did nothing. That actually did nothing. So I need to heal again. And Chansey, I need to just hope, goes for Hyper Voice again. Even though it's, I don't think it'll still kill from here. 
just why 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 he crit me too did you guys see that he actually crit me too which is, fuck, which is even more which is even more salt to the wound ice deep why why would you not go I, you better freeze with this you didn't freeze with this <sighs> Why wouldn't you go for it? If Ice Cream Ultimate with that amount of HP, Hyper Voice would have killed. Because Hyper Voice is stab. So I don't know what the fuck happened there. But like, come on, Chansey. Gust. Wow, you went for the Chansey this time. How kind of you. <laughs> you got a crit on the Chansey. Okay, alright. Get out of my face, you fucking ass. <sighs> I won't. Why is it that whenever we lose a Pokemon, someone evolves in the same battle? Did at least I get buffed? Alright, good job, Drayon, though. You buffed it. Um, let's get her a bite. <clears throat> I want to have Leech Life. <sighs> why is it, why is it that the, the, the second episode in a row that has happened, where we've lost a Pokemon in a battle, and in the same battle, someone else evolves? <clears throat> Alright, well, let's get ourselves our gold bat, I guess. I mean, last time in our, in uh, Sacred Gold, uh, our gold. Oh, a crunch. Mm, I I mm, I might have to get right confused right for that because Leech Life is. I I want to have like these all four of these moves, so I might have to get right confused right. I know it'd be useful for like you know in case I need something to hit itself, but and I might regret that. But like I don't know what else to get rid of. Like you know I need stab moves and Leech Life is good because it's it heals me. All right. Well, <sighs> no pud is dead. Alright, I guess I'll put, um, I don't know, we'll see if there, we'll see, uh, if there are any more trainers up ahead. Uh, alright, well, there are those guys, they're optional. And, uh, I'm not gonna fuck with optional trainer battles. Alright, let's, uh, get a move on now. I mean, no put also wouldn't have been that great in the next gym, but at least don't, okay, cool. But at the same time, oh, can we go to the old chateau? Uh, I mean, I probably won't for, I probably won't, at least not now, I'll probably wait, okay, well, we can get rid of, Cheryl, at least we can get rid of her. All right, that's how she go. That's how we get returned now. All right, cool, good to know. I do want to get an old chateau encounter because who knows? Maybe something we can add to our team to replace Nopud. Uh, I also get Team Sixty Five Shadow Claw. That's not bad. All right, cool, cool stuff. All right, let's go ahead and slide into here, and let's put Caesar up front and see what we can scoop up here. Come on now, give me something good. Give me something good. A ghastly. I mean, all right. That's, we don't really need more poison types, but okay. It's not the worst thing we could have gotten, I guess, or maybe it is. I don't know what else is in here. Um, but first things first, I'm gonna leak seed. Confused, right? Oh my god, really? This is this is what we're gonna do? These are the games we play in. You avo avoided leak seed too. Oh my god! All right, come on now, nightshade. Why, Caesar? What the fuck? Oh no. Everything is going wrong. Like, you know, the episode started out decently, but... Okay. Thank you, Caesar. Now put this bitch to sleep, or I swear to God, thank you. Oh my god, alright. Need to heal up again. I probably could use a regular potion for that, but whatever. I'm just tilted right now, alright? I'm just tilted. Alright, Pokeball, stay in the damn ball. Thank you. All right, Ghastly. What you got? You're uh, the gas Pokemon. Born from gases, anyone will faint if engulfed by its gaseous body, which contains poison. Um, I mean, I would name you Iris, but you're a male. Um, I don't really know what to name a male Ghastly. I have a name for a male Gengar. Have I ever used a male Gengar on the channel? I don't know. I don't think I have. Is there anything I can think of? That I can name this thing after. I don't know. You know, actually, hmm. You know what? Shout out to my girl Sam with this one. I'm gonna name this thing Kokichi. Because why not? It fits Gengar. He's purple, he's male. Why not? I swear to God, you better be a good nature. I'll come back here to get everything else later. 
I mean, I know there's like, I, I don't know if it was fixed or not, but I know there, I know there at least was an old ghetto bug. So I don't know if I want to fuck with that now. Route 205, we already have an encounter from this route. I'm just gonna save all those fishermen for grinding, because, you know, grinding against only wild Pokemon is kind of a pain. Uh, we'll go ahead and deposit uh, our fallen tree. And um, we'll see who we can add to the team. We do have some new options we can look at as well. Uh, but honestly, I'm not sure. Because we don't really have any, like, I mean, we could add a ground type. I mean, it wouldn't. thing is, like, if we had a ground type. Alright, let's look at these two first. Alright, Mandy is brave. That's good, but bad, because it boosts attack but lower speed. You're gentle, which again, good, but bad. Uh, okay, I mean, it's not good, not terrible. It's kind of just mediocre. Um. I mean, also, like, the main thing I think, I'm thinking of is, like, a ground type. Because, like, it wouldn't be helpful in the, in the next gym. But, we already have Caesar, Potem, and Ikaron. And Morgana could be useful as well at certain times. So, we don't really need something specifically for this gym. Um, so I'm thinking maybe something like Elmer. Uh, or Xavier. Uh, let me have a look at Don Fan and, uh, Sand Slash's stats in this game. Uh, Don Fan. I mean, I think we can get some more encounters as well, so this may not be the- Okay, Donphan didn't get any stat changes. What about Sand Slash? Sand Slash. Sand Slash also didn't get any stat changes. Alright. Um, so, I think for now, I might add Elmer? I'll add Elmer for now. And we'll see what we can get in, um... In those, um, in, in the areas that we can get to from here. But, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, we can go down here. We can go here. Oh yeah, Barry. I mean, Ken. Thud! Oh, that brings our Thud counter up to four. Hey, Techno! You came to see the Pokemon section, right? I'll take you there. Uh, I mean, I want to get the TM that's, I know, that's over there, but, okay. Alright. I mean, you can literally see it here. What the? Oh, Cyrus again. So this is Eternus Pokemon statue, shaping our world, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth needs investigation. Pardon me, stand aside. Alright, uh, yeah, uh, see it, it's high. <laughs> oh hey, when we snuck together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer, yeah, that. Alright, listen close, make sure all your attacks hit, avoid enemy attacks for sure. You know, if I could do that, I would I would never lose a Pokemon. <laughs> yep, you never lose. You beat the invincible trainer. I want to go check out the Pokemon stack. You see it around? Uh, no, I will not do that. I will instead go and get a TM first. Oh, I can't even do that. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, the device you have. It's a Pokedex. Wow, bring back some memories. Pardon me, what's your name? Oh, hey, hello, Techno. I'll be sure to remember that name. I am Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately. Just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. It must be encountered something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Can I use this? It should be helpful. HMO1, thanks. You know, it's literally not even useful because Drown removed the cut trees. You know, cover used in the field. You can use. Yep, right, yep, 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 yep. I'll help you, you young trainer. Please give my regards, Professor Rowan. Alright, cool. She might still give us the egg later. I don't know, but either way, I'm just gonna go and um, do my own thing first. Alright, hello. TM46 Thief. Alright. I mean, I, I could teach that to Morgana and get rid of Covet and have Stab Covet at least. Um, but first, I do want to go ahead. I mean, we're already at 30 minutes, but okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do speed up and try to avoid any trainers that might be there. Alright, we're up to 11. What can we get here? Come on, give me something good. Survey says... Machop. That's not bad, actually. I'll take that. I'll take a Machop. Because, uh, I don't think we, I mean, technically we have low Lopunny, which, which it evolves into a fighting type now, but, I mean, right now we don't really have any fighting types. Well, actually, we have freaking um, Monferno, and we have Combuskin, but, you know, Machop's cool, too. Alright, come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, my dude. Alright, let's go for a sleep powder, put you to sleep real quick. Put yo to sleep, and, um, fire off, uh, another Pokeball. Come on, Machop, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right, Machop, the, super, the superpower Pokemon. The small in stature is powerful enough to easily heft and throw a number of Geodude at once. All right, give a name to call it Machop. Yes. Um, again, if you're a female, I can name you Tenko, but you're not, so I won't. 
Don't know. I'll say you need eye, because I think I, I think I need one need eye, and I, I never use it, but I think I had a shop before that named need eye. So, so they don't have a better name for it. Why not? <laughs> so you can see episode of why not. All right, I'm pretty sure there's enough. Uh, I'm here too. It's a great ball. Neat. All right, I do want to go ahead and get a. We should have a meta type. That would have been nice. Um, we can go ahead and get an encounter over at uh, Mount Cornet as well. We do have to battle this guy first, but he's a hiker, so hopefully we can just whoop his ass with the uh, Caesar here. Just beat him up real quick. All right, down goes Geodude. Uh, Slugma. Oh, okay. He's mi actually mixing things up here. I like that. All right, uh, Slugma. Can't get water pulse. All right, you didn't die. Wow. How bold of you. <laughs> How bold of you. All right, and uh, what else do you got? A Beldum. Ooh, interesting. All right, you got some uh, interesting mons. All right, let's go into Morgana. Let's go into Morgana. Go for the fan attack. And uh, you're gonna go for iron defense, that's fine. Go for another fan attack. Uh, I was looking at, nope, not quite, because of the iron defense, alright, that's fine. And uh, one more, and you dead. And level 22, Confu- Oh, you can learn Confuse, right? Okay, I might get rid of sand attack then. Um, would it be better to have Confusion? Lots of 50, as a 50 percent chance every turn, whereas sand attack is like, you know, increasing, like decreasing odds. Steadily decreasing odds, so I don't know. Um, I mean, I haven't really used Sand Attack that much either. So I guess I'll get rid of it for Confused Ray. Again, I might regret that later. I don't know, but for right now, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Mount Cornet. Let's see what we can get here. Come on, give me something good again. Moonstone, not bad. Alright, in case we need to evolve something with a Moonstone. Alright, come on. Come on now. Alright, TM69 Rock Polish cool stuff, and I'm never going to use that, so, come on, give me something good, give me something good, give me something, <laughs> why are we not encountering anything right now, alright, there we go, our encounter is a Geodude, alright, cool, cool stuff, alright, let's, uh, leak seed you, alright, rock polish, that's fine, let's, uh, put you to sleep as well, we still have speed you after a rock polish, damn, Alright, um, I guess, I mean, I, I don't know if Golem was buffed. We can have a look to see if he was. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, he was not buffed stat-wise, but, uh, Growler does evolve into him at level 36 now. The Rock Pokemon! A rest that looks just like a rock! Careless is happening on will make it swing its fists angrily. You d damn, alright, I'm sorry. Uh, female, uh, I'm gonna name you... I'm gonna name you Nora. Because that's the first name that came to mind. Nora the Geo the Geodude, yes. Alright. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we can head back, and I know there... I'm pretty sure we can go... There's another area we can access as well at this point. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we made it so we can uh, get early access to the snow route. Um, but I think we'll save that for another time, because we're already at 35 minutes. Um, so I'm going to heal up, and, uh, I guess in the next episode, we're taking on, uh, Gardenia's Gym. So that'll be cool. I got, uh, more grinding to do tonight. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course you want to show your support, make sure you smash that like button below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to pay respects for poor Nopud, then do that as well. But with that, I'm gonna go. Thank you all for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. Bottom out. Bye!